Good morning, Ravens. On today's episode, we're bringing you coverage on track, Ecom's Imagine Awards, and more information about concussions. For Chloe Cower, I'm Elena Gray, and this is ONW Now. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. Some Northwest students went to JCCC this past week to understand the value of hard work. Tyler Sotart has more. Some of our most driven students here at Olathe Northwest are in our life skills classroom, and this past Wednesday they took their talents to Johnson County Community College at the annual Job Olympics. Northwest para Jonathan Stahl explains all of his experiences at the JUCO Job Olympics. Uh, yeah, Job Olympics is basically a time once a year where our kids get to go to uh, Johnson County Community College and work on uh, job-related skills, kind of like uh, silverware, rolling, towel folding, coin recognition, basic life skills. Um, they look forward to it every single year. These students persevere through different jobs on different set time limits, all for a shot at the gold at the end of the day. Nice. These are our peers, and their talents are clearly presented, but at the end of the day, it was all smiles. This has been Tyler Sotart, back to the desk. Raven Flight Corps, or RFC, puts on pep assemblies here at ONW. Let's take it to Molly Murphy, who has more. RFC is a leadership club that also helps out in pep assemblies and other spirit events, kind of lead the crowds and just, just have a good time. Zane Moxley and his fellow junior and senior RFC members are dedicated leaders who work hard to increase school spirit, but that's not all they do. Junior Brogan Sedlak explains. Uh, we just spend a lot of time focusing on different aspects of leadership, and it truly is a lot of fun, the things you do, and you really do make an impact on the school. Whether it's volunteering, planning, or supporting clubs and activities, RFC supports ONW students. We can't wait to see them at the next PEP Assembly. For ONW Now, I'm Brady Armstrong. eCommunications hosted the Imagine Awards last Saturday night. Pedro Ron Simpson has a report from this event. Imagine is a multimedia festival that allows students from across the metro area of the state of Kansas and Missouri to compete in categories like web design, graphics, video, and animation. Last Saturday, Olathe Northwest eCommunications Department held the 9th Annual Imagine Media Festival, where submissions are judged by industry professionals and professors, then awarded according to their rating. The judges vary from year to year, and they vary from category. So, for example, video had six judges, and they didn't judge every category. So every entry had three different judges. Last year I won first place for a PSA, and then this year I won first place in the short film category and uh, first place overall best in show for video category. We did better in some categories than we've done, but I would say overall we did well in the film area of video. They won best in category this year, and actually I think we've done that for several years in a row. But to validate our work, those same entries that win here the win in other festivals. The festival provides an atmosphere for healthy competition among students from around the nation. Just see what everybody else has done and potentially see uh, things that we could do better because competition is always good. I think that's the thing about Imagine. There is no other festival that lets you award webs, web graphics and animation, lots and lots of video competitions. But those other three don't get validated the same and they're just as important. And so we wanted this festival probably more for them than video so that those people who do the work there can be recognized. Check out the Raven Daily website for upcoming information on how you can see some of the work that was featured at the festival. Now let's take it to Game Day Northwest with Tanner and Reed. We have yet another solid show for you this week, bringing you stories about the dangers of concussions, an update on the Raven track team, and the Raven baseball team. Let's get started. Concussions are a reoccurring problem in high school sports, especially in football. Are they putting an end to high school football as we know it? Well, I sure hope not, Tanner. Tyler Sotar has more. Took away my whole last senior year of football. Dreamers, 
so many great people. So I, I think I think it's 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 really um, dug deep into our society and our culture. So I don't think it'll ever go away. Uh, I, but again, I'm all for um, them making it safer so that uh, less and less concussions or injuries will happen. Concussions remain to give a negative impact on the sport of football. Eli Pruce hopes that the concussions will decrease as the safety improves. situations the issues you're having are guys that have played in maybe the seventies or eighties that are having a lot of problems now later in life it's just, you know, just remembering things it's just simple things like that now that you know every, every year it seems like they're changing the helmet styles and doing different different things in the kickoff rule as of now we have no conclusion as to where the sport may end up but if the worst is to come it could be as vacant as the stands this has been Tyler Sotart now back to the desk the Northwest track and field team traveled to Shawnee Mission South Relays last Saturday. Sydney Mortensen has more. The Olathe Northwest track team competed at the Shawnee Mission South Relays this past Saturday. Cameron Geldner ran in the 3200 meter and won second place for the Ravens. The ONW relay teams were successful on Saturday. The boys placed fourth in both the 4x100 and the 4x400 meter. The women's teams received fifth in both the 4x800 meter and the 4x400 meter. Congratulations to the Lady Ravens for placing third out of 11 teams at the meet. For o and Now, I'm Joe Kaliga. Back to the desk. The Raven baseball team is off to another stellar start this year with multiple victories already under their belt. Brandon Wolford has more with the report. Last Friday, Olathe Northwest took on their crosstown rivals, Olathe North and East. After winning their first game against the Eagles, Austin Hansen had an impressive pitching inning against the Hawks. Hansen struck out 11 batters, but they couldn't have won it without the crucial hits by Ryan Wiedemeyer and multiple others. The Ravens scored once in the second inning and again three times in the sixth. In the last inning, Jason Votto Cruz came in to close the game. He struggled some but got help from a 6-4-3 double play to end the game. The Ravens won 4-0 and now have a 2-1 record on the year. Well, that wraps things up for this game during Northwest. For Taryn Nelson, I'm Reed Smith. Keep soaring, Ravens. And now for a report on the weather with Kyle Smith. What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this week's edition of your weather report. I'm Kyle Smith, your meteorologist. Let's take it to the seven-day forecast. Today, a little cold, warming up with 72. Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the 70s, cloudy and warm. Sunday, it's going to be very rainy. Monday, cloudy with a chance of rain. And Tuesday, bright and sunny. Headed into next week, setting you up for a good week. Let's take it back to the desk. For everything Raven, check out onwravens.net slash ravendaily. For Elena Gray, I'm Chloe Cowart. Thanks for watching, Ravens, and have a great week.